hi guys welcome back to my channel it's erica here and if you're new please hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to let you know when i upload today we are in the town indigo or the island called indigo and this is described as a classic christmas winter wonderland type of town and let's go ahead and take a look at the custom design portal Okay, so it looks like these are her designs right here. And the MA code is down on the bottom left for those of you guys who are interested. Okay, and let's take a look quickly at the map. Here's the island Indigo. There's Daniela, Santa. That's really interesting. I love that. And here are all of their villagers. Very, very cute. A lot of iconic, popular villagers here. So this should be really exciting. And down below is the dream address for those of you guys who are interested. And I try to tour islands for you guys to give you inspiration for your own island. So I love looking at islands that are kind of unknown um, and also islands that I haven't seen on social media as well. So um, to give you guys kind of um, a, a really big perspective on what is out there. Um, and already this island is amazing. I love how the trees are already lit up. And fun tip guys, um, maybe some of you guys already know this, but if you shake the trees that already have the lights, you can actually get some ornaments. So something just fell out. Let's see. Yep. Let's try to pick this ornament. And here is an, orna an ornament. Um, so for those of you guys who are um, either time traveling or who have their island already set um, in mid to late December, you will be able to use these ornaments for DIYs. So um, that is a fun little tip for those of you guys who don't know. And so here is the airport. And after you walk off, this is the amazing, beautiful pathway you see. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, honestly, I feel like this island was set perfectly. Absolutely perfectly at the perfect time. And here is the the museum very nice very kind of cozy in between uh, the trees here and this is a nice bridge in between the two ice arches and also if you can look at the path that I'm on you can see that this has been well designed um, and the pathway looks like is for the winter time with the white specks there okay so we are on her beach it looks like she kept her beach very simple and yet really really nice um simplicity is honestly sometimes the best um, and this is absolutely gorgeous i bet this looks amazing in the summertime so we are just going to go back onto the main part of the island, off of the shore. And let's take a look up here. Ooh, and these lit up Christmas presents here. Very, very nice. And here is... Her, ooh, I think this must be Daniela. Very cute. I love that. And look at this fruit orchard. Very cute. And she placed a fruit basket here to kind of symbolize that there is a fruit orchard here. So that's really cute. And her pumpkin patch. Really adorable. Um, I also like how they haven't grown yet. Um, keeping it that way is kind of nice. And this Christmas tree here, absolutely 
Beautiful. Absolutely well thought out. And I believe this is the Christmas tree farm. So she placed a few pine trees here, um, a big and a small kind of just putting it everywhere around here. Um, and that is adorable. And here's a little sprout, maybe symbolizing a, an, an already cut pine tree. And so on the right, it says fresh cut trees. Absolutely gorgeous with the sleigh as well. Super well done. And this might be an ice rink. This might be an ice rink. Really, really cute. And with the shoes laid out here. Absolutely adorable. She really blends in the elements of nature into her island. So that's really nice. It's kind of like a seamless ice rink as well. It's not too structured. Um, she did a really good job there. And here is probably a train station. I believe so. That is really well done. And let's go up these stairs right here. And it looks like the villagers are all in this area, which makes it really easy to kind of go, go door from door to door um, to your villagers' homes when you put them all in one area. Very nice. And that sign over here says, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that sign says, but it's cute. I couldn't, I can't really make out the, that word at the top. And here's Red's Shore. Absolutely love this sign. And I love how she placed this, these stairs. So you go down. This is the first time I've seen this on an island before. So that means her whole entire island, at least on this area, this part is placed on a second level, essentially. And so you go down the stairs to actually go to Red's shore, which is actually really, really a clever idea and a very unique idea. You know, not a lot of people have done that. So that's a really... Nice little fact. Okay, and I believe Daniela's house is over to the left. So let's take a look. Okay, so it looks like she has a bunch of DIYs here. She must craft a lot of DIYs in this room, I can imagine. Ooh, and this is a nice mermaid underwater inspired room absolutely love that and i love these clam beds as well they look super comfy <laughs> they look very very comfy i love it Ooh, very nice and cozy spa area very zen and i love how she just kept the ambiance of the two candles lit up and it makes for a really nice cozy kind of like meditation um atmosphere in here i love it okay so it looks like this is her kitchen And she has left it dark. It might have been a work in progress when she saved the dream address. And possibly, possibly a work of progress in here. Very cute basement love the use of the wallpaper with the star fragment right here i absolutely love it and we are greeted by diana 
which is really cute. Very adorable. Um, and that was Daniela's home. And I just love how you can hear the lights kind of jingle when you hit the pine trees. It's a really cute touch that Nintendo has put out. I love that. I absolutely love that. Okay, so let's go over the bridge here and go um, over to Santa's house. Let's try to do that. Really nice with the huge moon in the background. Very, very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is a cute kind of sitting area that she put. You have a good view of the back bonfire right there. And it's kind of a nice resting spot that she has put for visitors. Very, very good. Very well done. And I like how she put the painting right here and the paint supplies here. So it's a really cute little little area that she created, a painting area. Um, that's a very clever idea as well. Okay, so I see the reindeers here. Let's try to hop over Santa's workshop. Let's see if we can open up this present. What is in here? Ooh, a caveman tank. Interesting. Okay, so let's hop on over to Santa's home. And this is Santa. Very cute. And then I like how Santa's house is kind of closed off here. Um, very cute. Oh, wow. This is adorable. I feel like this is the epitome of Christmas with the amazing wallpaper, seasonal wallpaper that she has put. And of course with the toys all around the Christmas tree. Absolutely well done with the piano right here. Very, very cute. And a little gnome symbolizing an elf right in front of a workstation. Very adorable. Ooh, very nice. This little ice castle room going on with the very cozy looking ice bed. It's kind of like a suede material it looks like. And this Christmas tree. Very cute. Okay, so that was Santa's home. Again, absolutely well done and just very cozy, very, very cozy and just well done. Absolutely love it. Okay. Very cute. And I love how she placed all of these lit up reindeers um, in front of Santa's home. So that is a really cute kind of area that she created and over here it looks like is the campsite so it this campsite is actually very big um it extends all the way out over here with the bonfire and this little tree cute tree stump right here and then this picnic area with these really nice place mats and all the way over here where the actual campsite is and oh my gosh this cute snowman that she's put as well again it looks so natural how she put this snowman right next to the campsite um, kind of like someone's actually been here um, living at the campsite it, she makes it look that way and so that's really nice 
Um, it's just such a nice touch. So yeah, she created a really big space for her campsite, which is really nice um, if you are looking to kind of fill up space onto your island. And again, the classic outdoor library that I see a lot um, on people's islands. But again, it's a really cozy aspect to put. Okay. And the Able, the Able Sisters shop. Really cute. Very nice and understated in between the trees right here. Um, but it's just so well done. And we are on her shore. And we are going throughout the pathway here. Absolutely gorgeous. And Nook's Cranny is over right here. Kind of tucked away as well along with the museum and the Able Sisters shop. So really cute. And I like how she puts this little tree stump with the cute Christmas light, uh, Christmas tree. Absolutely gorgeous. And that is it, guys. That is it for this amazing wonderful island tour again she did just an incredible incredible job um i absolutely enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well so that is it guys for this island tour called indigo this island called indigo i really hope you guys enjoyed this island tour um i know i have this is such a classic um cute and very very nice christmas slash holiday inspired island um and i hope you guys brought some inspiration this i hope this island has brought some inspiration to you guys and um that is it 